These are the best Google Slides tips and tricks 2023. Hey friends, I'm Tasia Custodian. Welcome back to my YouTube channel where I share tech tips, app reviews, and enough Google content that it should be illegal. Today, we're gonna learn how to make better Google Slides. Let's go. Google Slides tip number one, use templates. This is especially useful if you struggle with design or you don't even know where to start. Let Google do the heavy lifting for you. From your Google Slides, rather than create a blank presentation and start from scratch, click on the templates gallery option at the top to view all available templates. From here, you just simply click on the template that you wanna customize and a new presentation based on that template is opened for you. Now all that's left for you to do is to customize it to your liking. Keeping in mind that you can change every element from the font to background colors. You can duplicate your slides or you can even reorganize your slides. So basically any type of customization from a template. And as a little bonus template tip for you, you can create and store your own templates. So if you know you're constantly creating the same type of presentation over and over again, why not save that as a template? Then you can simply make a copy of the template rather than recreate the same slideshow over and over again. Slides tip number two, add animated GIFs. This is such an easy way to make your slides more interesting and engaging. And of course, there are a couple of ways to do this. First, if you're using a site like Giphy and you want to pull in a GIF from there, the easiest way will be to simply add it to your slide as a URL. So from the slide, head up to insert, then image, then select by URL. So I like this GIF from Giphy. So I'm gonna click on the share icon and then click to copy the GIF link. This is important. If you try to just copy the URL, it won't work. You have to copy the direct GIF link. Anyhow, once that is copied, head back to Google Slides and paste the URL in the insert image box. Then just click on insert image. Your GIF is added to your slide just like that, where you can resize it and move it however you see fit. Now, of course, you can download a GIF to your computer or Google Drive and upload it from there. To do so, obviously, you'll save the GIF first. I do this by right-clicking on the GIF and selecting Save Image As. Here, you can name it and organize it however you want. Next, back in Google Slides, you'll once again go to Insert Image, but this time you'll select Upload from Computer. Then find your GIF file and add it to Google Slides. All right, the next tip to make Google Slides better is to add transitions and animations to your slides. And of course, there are a couple of ways to do this too. With the slide selected, you can either right click and select transition, or you can just click on transition at the top. This will open up a motion options to the right of your slide. Here at the top is where you can set the slide transition and set the speed of the transition. You'll also have the option to apply the transition to all of the slides if you want. You'll know your slide has a transition if it's marked with a little transition symbol to the left of it in your preview window. But transitions are only part of the fun. Any element you add to your slide can be animated. Simply select the element, and here on the right, our object animations option will be popped up for you. If you don't have this appearing on the right, it's probably because you weren't already in the transition selection. So no worries, you would select your object on the slide and then click on animate up at the top. So now under object animations, you can add an animation, how you want the animation to appear, as well as the speed of the animation. Then you can hit the play button to preview what that transition and object animation look like. Tip number four is a big one when it comes to making Google Slides pop, and that's to add audio to Google Slides. To be clear, you can add audio to an individual slide or to play throughout your entire presentation. So first, here's how to add audio to a slide. Using insert, this time you'll click on audio. 
The only way to add audio to Google Slides is to already have the audio file in Google Drive. So keep that in mind. But once the audio file is saved in your drive, you'll just select it and add it to your slide. And it'll be added as a little speaker icon on your slide that you can move around and set the playback options using the formatting panel on the right. But here's how to play audio throughout your Google Slides presentation. From those audio formatting options, which by the way, you'll get to by clicking on the audio element you've added to the slide, You'll just click on start playing automatically and you will click off of the stop on slide change. You can also loop the audio too if it's not long enough to cover your entire presentation. And bonus audio tip. In order to play music through your entire Google Slides presentation, ensure you're adding that audio file to the first slide in your presentation. You can do this before making formatting adjustments or after simply by cutting and then pasting it on to that first slide instead. And if you're finding this video helpful so far, please remember to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for even more content like this. And with that, we've come to tip number five to make your Google Slides better and that's to use browser shortcuts. So yeah, this is a time-saving tip, but it's a good one. Head to your browser bar and type in slides.google.com and that will take you right to your Google Slides if you're signed into your Google account. Or you can even type in slides.new and that will open up a new blank slides presentation for you. This browser bar trick works in any browser and if you're not already signed into your Google account, you'll just be prompted to sign in from there. And by the way, this trick works for your suite of Google apps. So think Gmail, Google Photos, Google Docs, Google Calendar, and so on. You're welcome. Remember, if you wanna learn even more about Google Slides, including some awesome collaboration tips, I've got a bunch of slides content linked in the description below for you. But it's really that easy to take your slides to the next level. So that's how to make better Google Slides. What tips would you recommend? Let everyone know in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, well, I wanna know. So give it a like, a share, or leave that comment below. You can click right about here to subscribe to my channel and here and here for even more Google content. Thanks for watching. See you next time.